Welcome, this is Zangler, the Tesla Semi Advocate, bringing you today's video from, from the Tesla Semi Factory construction site. This video was uh, filmed on Tuesday, October 22nd, 2024, about 5 p.m. on a clear, cool afternoon. And there's a lot of interesting progress to be seen here. The first thing is, is that they are indeed starting Section 5 and skipping over Section 4 where they moved the Mesmaster. Also, they have, they've, they've installed more wall panels moving south along the western perimeter and east along the northern perimeter. And you can clearly see the uh, entrances, you know, small doors, and then uh, the giant uh, exit and entrance where large semis can leave and also what well, they're probably going to use to um, bring in the cement trucks when they actually do finish the foundation. Here you can see section five has begun. They've begun to put up that perimeter um, post columns and beams. And the other thing to note right here is that uh, section two, the roof has been completed and they're doing the final filling in on section three. And um, at least one of my viewers predicted that they would skip section four and move over to section five, which is indeed what they're doing. I was contemplating that perhaps they would cover section four and be able to uh, keep the Mesmaster out of the elements. But apparently that's not a problem. I, I think it also does indicate that they will um, definitely be moving the Mesmaster one more time to finish section four. Here we're going to take a flight around the perimeter of the uh, construction site. And uh, I should point out that the, uh, all of the sections are not necessarily the same size um, or width. You notice that section three and section four will be much wider than um, section one. And it looks to me like section five and six were gonna be, are going to be equally wide. Interesting thing we're going to be talking about is the um, concrete apron that's been poured. It does indicate specific locations for the loading bays. And once, perhaps you can correlate them to the rendering that I'll always show at the end of each video. So you can see, compare the uh, progress to the rendering. And what I'm seeing right now is that it answers another mystery. The BFF, the big freaking footings, are indeed being filled in. There was some question about whether or not they would be, um, those, those big pits were, were for actually working underneath uh, vehicles or having access to the semi from underneath. And in fact, they were just built simply to um, allow the uh, big freaking footings to be built in a multi-layered way. And even the wings that I had speculated that were for perhaps for extra weight bearing were nothing more than ramps, as, as some viewers had called out, ramps to allow access to those deep um, footing areas to build the actual footing. And then once they fill it all in, you actually can't tell a BFF from a regular footing. From the, Once they're filled in, they look about the same. Here is the Mesmaster. Um, I am not 100% sure. It does have trusses loaded in them, but I don't see the, the wings installed. So I'm not 100% sure that, that, is, that the relocation is complete. This is the section where we're, I'm going to be looking for when they start additional footings because um, this is the part of the building where the rendering shows an extension. You can see the jog along that um, southern perimeter where the main building does take a little bit of a jog. And um, the uh, one thing I found out is that um, these are, in fact, IMPs, 
used for the walls. They're insulated metal panels. So it's metal on each side, which explains why they're uh, so strong when, when being lifted into position by the telehandlers. And then at this point in time, what we're seeing is them capping the uh, previously installed wall panels. The, um, the cones and safety lines indicate are used to indicate where it is safe for the workers to walk. And one thing about the um, BZI process that Tesla is um, using on this project is that they have a high safety record. I once again will include a link to their website as it's fascinating and they are um, a very uh, interesting company and an a innovative company for the speed in which they can put build buildings. They already have a, they have a video on their site where they have built a Hyundai EV factory. And uh, there's the telehandler. And like I said, it seems to me that that wing that travels along that centerpiece and allows them to install the um, individual corrugated metal panels for the roof has not been installed. Perhaps they're doing something slightly different, but I would expect that they will complete the installation. And uh, they don't need it just yet as they're filling in section three, as you can see in the top of the, of the um, frame and they are going to take a little bit of time to build out section five and then six and then they'll finish with section four apparently much progress has been made on the perimeter apron So this is a good look at section five being built and I haven't paid much attention to the third important piece of the BZI system. It comprises of the panel table, the MESMaster, and this is, these are the sky braces. And they're a critical part of the process which allows, um, eliminates the temporary X bracing cables that usually are um, with, extend into the per building perimeter and can interfere with uh, construction and slow construction down. These uh, sky braces are designed to provide structural support while the building is being built from all and, and the support is for all directions and they're pretty, um, they're pretty burly. Also notice that there, um, there were cutouts for, uh, for loading bays and some of the loading bays, as you can see when we get over here, will not have the um, adjustable loading dock, and many will. As you can see, there's a bunch of loading bays there. And um, again, I'd like to see if uh, you can correlate them to the rendering that I'll always show at the end. And I believe you can see that there's a lot of loading bays. And um, the interesting part of that is you'll According to the uh, Tesla philosophy, raw materials sh should come in one end of the building, go into the stamps, stamping machines, presses, and whatever else is involved, and move down the line, either with the unboxed process, or maybe that's not really appropriate for the semi, because it's a fairly simple assembly line. 
but um, point being is that the uh, raw materials come in at one end and the finished product, in this case the Tesla Semi, comes out at the other end. And uh, it would be great to see that in action. This is a good look around. Um, a lot of viewers wonder what these buildings are. They're almost all identically built, um, concrete walled structures used for warehouses or um, fulfillment centers. And here is the rendering, and I want to call your attention to all of those um, loading bays with the Tesla semis backed up to them. And uh, thank you for joining.